Hey guys, so this video is really random, but um, <clears throat> I was planning on recording a video already today, but it was like a complete fail. Um, short story, like I wanted to do like kind of like a mock mukbang mukbang i'm not sure on how to pronounce it but i wanted to do something like that and talk about um the topic that i, I guess i'll touch on in this video but um for the mukbang i wanted it to be something really good something that i love um there's this place called aviva by camille in atlanta it's like on peach street street and they have the best falafel wraps, in my opinion, like ever. And um, they have a whole bunch of veggies, like you get these giant falafel wraps. Um, they're delicious, but <clears throat> I just tried to get it postmated to my house. And after two hours of it saying it was being picked up, they canceled my order. So, like, I tried to contact the driver. It was just a hot mess. And this has happened before with me trying to place an order for Aviva. So, I don't know if it's Postmates fucking up or Aviva. But, like, I was really excited. But, like, as time, as the two hours went by, I had a feeling it wasn't going to, something's going to happen. So, yeah, um, I'm starving. And I still wanted to put out some type of video today because it's my day off and I'm trying to be productive. So let me let my dog in because she's gonna start barking. Okay, um, yeah, so I am just cooking right now, making something really quick because like I said, I'm starving after waiting so long. I'm recording on my phone, that's why it doesn't, it's not the best quality. So I'm just making like a potato hash type of thing. So I'm just boiling the potatoes for a little bit so they're tender. Then I'm gonna just cook them in some olive oil. This looks like a lot, I don't know. Um, with some onion, tomato. I got a little bit of broccoli left over so I just thought I'd toss it in some garlic. And then um, <clears throat> I'm gonna put a little bit of kale in there at the end. So I'm about to make that right now. And I'm sipping on, <clears throat> I'm like getting over a sickness, so I'm drinking this. So hopefully it'll help my life. But yeah, since my whole mukbang idea is a fail now, because I don't even feel like shooting it anymore after waiting so long for my food to get here and it not happening, like I just want to eat <laughs> and not worry about like setting up my camera and everything. So I thought I'd just touch on the topic, and if you are interested, I can make a more in-depth video talking about this. I made a video about this a couple years ago, but I wanted to talk about dealing with um, being an introvert and being an artist, because I I don't know, I, like part of me feels like it's all in my head, but sometimes I think like my introvertness is affecting my goals as an artist um oh my god now she wants to go back outside you're staying outside um yeah so sometimes i think it's affecting my reaching my goals as an artist and then you know i feel like artists were hard on ourselves anyway so sometimes i'm like i'm just being too hard on myself like everyone like run your own race basically like we all are going to get to our goals if we work hard at when the time is right because it's like lately um i've been seeing a lot of people um succeeding in like getting residencies and getting into shows and doing stuff that i meet like meeting people that i haven't met just like doing stuff that i haven't i feel like i'm not where they are yet but like, I feel like my art is there. It's just like something that I'm not doing right. And I think it has something to do with me being an introvert and not liking to go out a lot. Um, because I, I do go out, I do go to art events. I have like, there's a group of people in Atlanta. Um, there's this place called Tila Studios. And they do a lot for the black women artists in Atlanta. They're awesome. And they have events. Um, they tell us about events that are happening in Atlanta, like art events. And like half the time I don't go because either one, I'm like just tired and I wanna stay home. Or two, I, I have this like guilt, this 
I don't even know this like artist guilt I feel like if I have free time then I should be at home painting I shouldn't be out socializing even though I know like this is socializing that I probably need to be doing <laughs> like I probably need to be out meeting other artists and curators and stuff like that but like it's like an inner struggle with me every time I get invited to do something I have this battle of like should I go should I stay home and paint or should I go or do I feel like going or do I just feel like staying at home it's like the worst and then when I see people out there you know getting residencies and stuff like I've, I'm in the blah, blah. I've been in a couple shows this year so far I just got into a big show that's happening in May so it's like I'm applying and I'm getting into certain things but I feel like I don't know like it's taking me long and I I don't know see it's like tough because it's like well it might just this is probably the time length that it's supposed to go for me honestly but then a part of me it, I, maybe it's like I'm comparing myself to other artists and that just makes me feel even more bad for being an introvert because I'm like if I wasn't an introvert I'd probably be out in these streets meeting these people getting into these galleries but instead I'm like at home I don't know it's like a struggle I just wanted I wanted to do a whole video talking about that because I really I really don't know if it has to do with me being an introvert or if it's really just like this is the amount of time it's supposed to take for me because I do believe that it's different for everyone and I don't like comparing myself to other people it's like I I have grown from comparing myself like physically you know um, when I uh, I feel like we all go through a phase that we compare ourselves to other people that we want to look like and things like that and I've definitely gotten past that um, but now I feel like maybe I'm starting to compare myself as an artist and I guess maybe I need to get past that but then yeah it's just like a, it's like an inner battle that I'm always having it's like um, am I doing enough should I be out you know um, what's the word I was gonna say out marketing out um, what's the word out socializing and uh, meeting people market no promoting my I don't know I can't think of the word but I should just be out doing that probably but I don't know I said I don't know a million times it's a struggle though because when I see people that are doing so great that I feel like we're kind of on the same wavelength like art wise it makes me feel like I'm not doing enough um, but also like these artist fees out here like to apply for shit like makes me not want to apply for as much as I probably could because like $30 application fees non-refundable that kills me like I get that art foundations like need money but like for me like the making this little this little coin at working at an art store I like don't have just the extra money to just be like well I'm gonna apply to this just in but I probably like I don't know if I'll get in but here's $30 I applied to like a residency that was like $60 application fee didn't get in it's non-refundable like I know this is a part of the art world this is like never gonna change but like it's frustrating so I guess I'm venting but I think that's another reason why I'm probably not out like in a whole bunch of shows and getting into residencies and stuff because <laughs> for one I'm not applying for a whole bunch of stuff because I try to save my money like I don't know this has turned into just a, a artist rant I guess um, I think my my potatoes are done boiling <sighs> okay guys um, that's all I really um I, I keep saying um and I keep saying I don't know but I'm going to finish making my breakfast lunch basically it's like lunchtime now and uh, if you want a more in-depth video talking about like these artist struggles I guess that I'm going through that I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going through like comparing yourself to other artists being an introvert and like battling with like wanting to stay home and or if you should go out and be social um, mingle in the art world I guess and like I don't know. It's a battle.
but yeah I'm gonna go finish cooking and I will talk to you guys in the next video I guess I'll show you what my food looks like when it's done because like I low-key hate when people like start showing the food they're cooking but then don't show the finished product <laughs> so I'll show you that and then um bye So this is the finished product. This is actually a lot of food. I don't know if I'm gonna finish this plate. But like once I added all the vegetables and everything, it got huge. But um, I'll leave the recipe below if you're interested. It's basically just a potato scramble, just a lot of vegetables and um, herb seasoning, stuff like that. And then um, this is just ketchup that I mix with the horseradish. Like that's like my new obsession right now. And it, basically tastes like cocktail sauce in a way. I don't know if that is like basically what cocktail sauce is, but it's delicious because it has this like zesty, spicy kind of kick mixed with the sweetness of the ketchup. It's really good. So, um, <clears throat> excuse my dirty oven. But yeah, that's it. I'm gonna go smash. All right, um, yeah, like I said, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon.